<laughs> this is, if you're gonna buy an early rated armor, this might yeah. be that game. I was gonna say, there's literally three sources of magic damage, uh, I believe, here. So, you know, you're gonna be able to wanna rush those items to kind of survive that onslaught of magic damage. Yeah, the pairing for Valir is usually this. Back in season 10, it was the Lilia in the grand finals, and Echo won that game with that. Earlier in the season, they went Valir and Eve. A lot of slows, a lot of pokes that the roaming mid three of Blacklist needs to watch out for here. Here we see the double XP lane rotation, the trademark for Blacklist in the playoffs. While Echo maintains their tempo, so far, nothing out of the ordinary a minute in. Oh, they knew Yaoi was going to be extended a little bit there. He had Ooh. to flick around. First blood going to be drawn by Edward. Already off to a good start here. They get the fuck oh. out from UA, but look at Carl TZ forcing out that as well. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to the risk of the Valir pickup. If you get caught, you will get punished. Up against a Faramis, an Eve, and Edward who got, a lane, got out of lane quickly. Yaoi yeah, needs to watch out for that. He can't overextend and be forced to use his flicker in those scenarios so early. About 30 seconds before the first hurdle of the game, SMX is shaking. Agents all over the world are trembling. They are sending out their energy to the season 10 champions. This shouldn't end in a sweep, they say, as we have about a quarter of a minute before the first hurdle. Look at how deep Wise is. This is a newfound confidence in Blacklist throughout the series. Yeah, and even with your backs against the wall, you gotta be like this. You can't hesitate to try and get vision. See what you can do to disrupt. See there the disruptive nature of the Eve and Valir combo together. Oh my Venus will struggle a bit of the laning phase. First solo up, Edward's alone. All right, Sanford already gonna go into the dragon form. Gonna force Edward back a little bit here. Looks like Blacklist just gonna give up that first turtle. Really don't want to get further behind. They're holding on to oh. a very small lead. And Echo will secure that first objective of the game. Yeah, but I got eyes on the one true king. Look at King Wise. I wonder if Carl knows. I wonder if the rest of Echo knows what he's up to. Yeah, yeah he's about to check it. Oh, he won't be able to steal it in time. Oh, they do have an idea. Now Wise going to be in a bad position here. Three versus one. Here comes Oh My Venus trying to help oh. out. Oh, yeah, we will get punished. But... Wise falls as well on top of it, the one for one trade. Just a moment too late with the cult altar by the queen. Couldn't Wait. save her king. Wait, he committed Grand Theft Orange. Our yeah. buff says Wise. Yeah, he was able to steal it away from Carl TZ. Carl TZ, will he get pulled? Okay, he's gonna execution out of there still. This is exactly what Wise has to do. Like you mentioned, you know, he's gotta have kind of that swag to him, not only because he's playing the Fredrin here, but also given the situation, right? Carl Teasy for the most part of this series, has been all over the place, especially in the jungle of Blacklist International. And you mentioned this, Renmar, prior to loading into the game, he has to act as that pseudo-roamer, get a little hyperactive, because again, Yaoi can only really commit his skills, but when he does, it hurts. Yeah. Right now, though, in the XP lane, and the question of Glue versus Yu Zhong, we feel Edward more in the map, but the pressure that Sanford is applying in the lane means Edward's always forced to go back and rotate just to clear the minion waves. Sanford not going to be roaming to mid here. Thought he would. Try to find a pick, but the minion waves don't have that in favor for him. Both teams tried to go for a topside sequence, but thanks to Vision, both teams back off. It's going to be back to the mid and the jungle again. That's been the hot spot for this game so far. And here we go. Now focus on the top side. Owl in trouble. Oh, Two no. versus one. Has to flicker out. A little bit of burn there. No follow up with the kill just yet. And the rest of the members, Blacklist International, able to help him out. Meanwhile, Turtle being worked on. Looks like multiple members of Echo should be able to secure this one. Second one for them of the game. But Wise goes in with the Brazer's Wrath. Yeah, are we going to be in trouble? One oh, hit. No way. Wise couldn't get the kill. Oh, wow, but in this sequence, check out Wise. He stole Carl Teasy's orange as the rest yeah. of Blacklist pressure the gold lane. Yeah, while Echo were getting the turtle, Wise decides to invade again. Oh, oh he's going to cut Here them off. Carl. Here comes Carl. Do they have the follow-up they're going to be looking for? No, they don't, so they back off. Okay, Sanford has the hunter strike. The combos will be deadly coming in from the Yuzhong now. Now Echo is still a very close game. Despite everything, Blacklist are handling this game so far beautifully. Little wins, 
The reason why it's only a small lead for Echo is that Blacklist, they're invading the jungle, but this is gonna be a big change oh. of our scenario as the top lane will get pressured. Al loses his turret, and that's gonna be Benny Cutie out of lane first. This tier one push up top is gonna to make this turtle coming up in about a minute all the more easy for Blacklist to just let go. Because given this small lead by Echo, yeah, Blacklist is looking much better now. It's still a turtle that they can't really contest. Echo, let's see if they can find a pick before this. That will be the goal. Find a pick, force out an ultimate, a key ability before this turtle starts. 35 seconds though, Sanji. Pressing the issue, you win, has an ultimate, Y is going in! Okay, Y is going to go in, he's going to find Wa Yaoi here, he will fall. Sanford already using the dragon form, going to find two members, oh. gets the Petrify off! Two new fall for Blacklist! Still going to be looking for the fight. Yue trying to help the team here. Benny Cutie oh, with the Zombin no. Force. They're going to be focusing down Wise. He's a couple Bang. hits away. Will fall. So it's a trade here. Echo coming out on top. Eventually a messy engage. Echo comes out with more than what they paid with. Yeah, Echo, late entry. It seems like Blacklist again just completely forgot about the Yu Yong. They committed a lot to get Yaoi correctly, yes, but they used, committed so many abilities that once the Black Dragon flew in, it all took one combo to take down two. Oh, Owl gonna be in trouble again. Oh My Venus has to use the Flicker and the Cult Alter, but Sanji dropping down the real world manipulation. The Queen will fall plus the turret. Again, this is just Echo pushing the tempo. Yeah, for the first five minutes, they had to play footsies. They had to temper their expectations and say, okay, looks like Blacklist came to play. But now, we're back in about the same situation. Echo are in the driver's seat. Sanford and his late entry in that last sequence meant that Minion Oh wait, no, here comes Echo again. He's gonna come through again. Wise fighting for that purple buff. The rest of the Echo squad here. Now Edward gonna come in with the glue. Split, split, activated. Ooh. Quite a few stuns coming out. Brazier's Wrath gonna be burned as Benny Cutie comes through with his Zaman Force, finding Wise. And Wise falls again in the jungle here. Next up on the docket gonna be this mid lane. Tier one. Oh, oh my, my Venus. V. Gonna be in trouble. Carl Teasy looking for the kill here. Sanji oh. drops down the RWM. And another objective, turret will fall in the mid lane. Owl left a fat wave down bottom. I wonder if it's actually gonna cave. Yeah, pretty sure that turn's gonna go down there. And at that point, there's just Blacklist saying, we gotta try to pull something here. Try to get a little bit more far for a gold laner. And yes, it was a loss in the mid, but at this point, that's what they can get. That's all what they have to do. 1,400 and counting. It's a gold difference between Benny Cutie and Owl, with Benny Cutie in the lead. Tell us spot the double radiance armors coming in from Edward and Oh My Venus. I yep. expect more to come up. It looks like Wise on the way to his. Okay. Good itemization there by Blacklist. And I think that's what Echo will be watching out for and considering. But considering the spike that Echo has hit, Ben Beauty already has the Holy Crystal. As long as Echo don't lose a massive, uh, doesn't suffer a massive loss, they can continue this. But Blacklist are in close enough gold territory to actually turn this around. Yeah, they actually want to go ahead and contest this one. Lord was started up. Carl T is going to focus on Wise. They want to get the jungler down. Colt Ulter comes through. Is it enough Whoa. though? Wise will fall. Owl tries to find the angle. Not going to be able to find it instead. Whoa. He's bobbing, he's weaving, but it's not enough. Yaoi has the slows there. Followed by Sanji and Owl runs away. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Sanford pushes Yue back. And now it's Carl TZ and Oh My Venus on the run. Sanford falls. They're split up everywhere. The oh. queen goes down. Carl TZ able to find the kill. And now do they decide to take the Lord? Divide and conquer. Echo split up the map and Again, Blacklist was the one who scattered out. That was an engagement that Blacklist read as, all right, we can take this, we can take this. And so far, what has been bought for the Codebreakers is at least a lore that they can maybe dance for. Wise has struggled in Retro Duels against Carl TZ this entire series so far. A win here could be massive for Blacklist. But ultimates are up across the board. Cult Alter is what we're waiting for here. But is it going to be a full commit? Look at where Owl is. He's up top. Echo, do they sense it? 
What happens now? Sanford gonna use the Dragon Form, pushing Blacklist International back here. Lord's gonna go ahead and reset a little bit. Owl, like you said, in the top side, not here for this fight. Why still showing face, Zaman Force, and the RWM gonna come out. Ooh. Edward trying to buy a little bit of time here. Owl making his way to the Ready? fight. Appraiser's Wrath comes down. Sanford quite low, trying to escape the fight. Oh! Edward takes down Benny Cutie. Now Yowie's in trouble. Owl gets a kill here. And it's Echo with a blunder. And now Blacklist International looking to punish. Sanford trying to get back to base. Carl Teasy, nowhere to go, even with the help of Sanji, and they turn it around. Blacklist now has a go at the Lord. The defending champions are feeling it. SMX is feeling it. They have shrank that 2K gold lead now to about 300 as they make a beeline for the Lord. They take it. Blacklist International, a weight off of their shoulders. A massive win. We said it was turn around the ball and they found the turnaround. The late entry by Al. Though they were split, Blacklist held on and Echo will now try to defend against the code breakers, against the defending champs. It seemed like it was a uh, engagement or scenario in the making the first time it happened, because again, it was the same split by Echo. They won that first time around, but Blacklist, they figured it out, they understood. And this time around, when it actually mattered, when it led into this first Lord, Blacklist got it right. Their individual decision making in that team fight to hold on for as long as they could, avoiding the key abilities, watching out for Echo, what a response by the defending champions. Here's the response from Echo. They're going to force it down. Dragon Form going to come out looking for UA here. He's in trouble. Colt Alter comes oh. through, but it's not going to be enough. Owl trying to hold on. Carl Teasy on the hunt. Zaman forced to follow. Echo still looking for more. Pushing him and holding him back here in the mid lane. Man, you've got to wonder. Blacklist had the gold lead here but they were still able to light Yue up despite having a cold altar. Where did the damage come from? The patience of Sanford to really hold on. The pokes, the poke damage coming in from the Valir and the Eve. Sanford and his Black Dragon from not going down right away, really saving it for the key targets and Owl and Yue was the key. So now they've overloaded the lone physical damage defense item in Blacklist Arsenal. I guess you're right, Reptar. You have to watch out now for Sanford, for Carl Teasy, because it's now it's not just about magic. Carl Teasy once again uh, putting the pressure here in the middle lane. Execution comes through. Edward has to split, split. Wise waiting patiently there. Echo just getting some information. Again, it's still a minute till that next Lord comes up here as both teams look for establishing presence. This is the strongest Blacklist has looked. This is the closest this series has looked. One mistake, one error, one right call might be the difference between game number five or a championship now in a sweep for Echo. The tension in the air is high here. You have to watch out for the entries, the timing of Oh My Venus is called Otter, who Edward Grab grabs onto. If Owl can keep himself alive if Benny Cutie can keep that purify for the best possible moment. Lord here in about 10 seconds, putting theory into practice. Edward is gonna be one key way for Blackness to cut straight into Echo's formation, because again, in that first Lord take, it was Edward, Agent Zero, who was actually threatening a grab grab into whoever's soft enough, and to be fair, Amongst Echo, they're all pretty soft. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna be making a play here, trying to cut off Echo. But it's gonna get spotted out as both teams gonna clash in, sandwich each other. Owl caught off from the team! Oh! He's in trouble! Benny Cutie will get the kill. Colt Alter already used. And just like that, Echo knows they have the numbers advantage and go for the Lord. They can't take any fights without Owl! The carry falls, and that might be the error and the catch that we were talking about, this Lord will be uncontested. Can Echo, what can Echo make out of this? This is still a close game. All right. 
Looking back at the history of this series in the past three games that we've played, Echo have made devastating developments with their Luminous Lords. So I'm thinking, where else? How deep can Blacklist dig? Because they still have their inhibitors. There's still a couple of tier two standing. So I'm guessing this will be a very defendable Lord. Yeah. Defendable, is it? Echo, is this it? Watch out. We're gonna find out here. Mid lane. Lord making its way. Sanford using the dragon form. Already gonna force back UA and the rest of the team. Cold Thulter comes out too. Looking to end the game possibly here. They know the Cold Thulter's down. Wise will oh no! fall. Echo still healthy. Happy to deal with it. Lord will go down. Do they focus on the next inhibitor turret? Waves pushing in. Wise is not here. Echo. Now gets rid of the bottom lane, inhibitor turret. Still possibly holding on. I set on the next turret. Minions are huge. Minions coming through. Good they good. get the flicker out. Benny Cutie with his almond force pushing them back. Blacklist International's in trouble. Immortality gonna come through. There's Sanji once again. UA has to get Sanji. out. Sanji gets the kill. And now Blacklist is falling apart, Carl oh. TZ. And it looks like they're gonna do it, it's deja vu. They sweep Blacklist. We are still in the age of the Orca. Your MPL Philippines season 11 champions are Echo. Knocked down to the lower bracket, brought to their limit. The reigning world champions found the heart will and skill to taste the sweet kiss of destiny yet again. The age of Orca stands undisputed. Champions of the world, champions of the Philippines. And with this victory, and with this repeat of what went down in tennis indoor Sinai and in Jakarta, Indonesia, Echo, can also now make the run for a Grand Slam in MSC. Man, both teams gonna be fighting for that, the Grand Slam, but it's Echo just showing how dominant they are. And really, yes, that game four was a little bit closer for Blackness International, but it just didn't work out for them there. And Echo comes through again with the Echo Express. Now that we're living in this moment, there's a lot of talk on social media saying is Echo Blacklist's kryptonite despite their long rivalry, despite this now being a trilogy, is Echo truly the one to take down